Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today is a Monday morning. It is the first day that Scott is back in the office, so I no longer have a work from home buddy, which is fine, but the fact that it's Monday and the fact that Scott is not working at home with me, I just feel like I might have a little bit of a hard time focusing today, so I'm going to do everything that I can to try and prevent that and make sure I stay on top of things. There are a couple tasks that I really wanted to work on today. I have a big report that I won't finish today. It'll probably take me a couple days to get a good draft done, but I want to get a good chunk of it finished today. And then I have two other activities that don't need to get done today, but I would like to get them finished as soon as possible. So I figured I would use those when I want to take a break from doing my report. I also thought that a good way to keep me focused and get going would be to try out a Pomodoro timer on YouTube. I got this idea from someone who I watch on YouTube. Her name is Kristen Nicolasi. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll just put her name up so that you guys can find her if you would like to check her out. But basically it's a 25 minute timer and then there's a five minute break and it just repeats that four times for a total of two hours. So I think I'm going to put that on. I it's a nice festive one with the snowfall and everything and then I'll just use this while I'm working on my report and then once this timer finishes I'll take a break and kind of figure out where I'm at and what I need to do. So that is the plan. I have my banana chocolate chip muffin. I'm sitting at my desk with the big monitor so I think I am good to go. I just finished my two hour working session, I guess you could call it. And honestly, that went by pretty quickly. That was my first time using a Pomodoro timer and I actually really liked it. So the 25 minute blocks went by relatively quickly. The five minute breaks, I feel like usually I would take a break for longer than five minutes. So I did have to kind of adjust to that a little but it was nice to have the gentle snowfall sounds in the background and I actually just looked up another Pomodoro timer. This one is also holiday themed and it's actually for three hours. I don't know that I'll do the full three hours because that'll run up into my lunch time. So we'll see, maybe I'll just do another two hours. I don't know, I really liked it. I know it's usually just used for studying, but as a full-time engineer and someone who doesn't always have a bunch of meetings, like today I don't have any meetings until this afternoon, so something like this is really great for me to stay focused, get stuff done, especially on a Monday, this is great. <laughs> okay, I'm having my lunch break right now and I just realized that this might be my only chance today to watch a Christmas movie because I have meetings this afternoon and then the Steelers are playing tonight, which obviously have to watch that. So I'm going to put on Christmas Perfection on Hulu while I eat. And then as always, I'll let you guys know what I think. That was another really good Christmas movie. I've been on a roll finding good movies recently and that was another one. It was cute, it was funny, Christmassy from start to finish. I'd give that like 
an eight and a half out of ten maybe and it also reminded me since I found this one on Hulu it reminded me of another Christmas movie that I watched on Hulu before vlogmas started it was the happiest season that just came out this year I think we watched it the day it came out and that I really liked that one it was heartwarming it was cute I'd give that like a nine and a half out of ten maybe Dan Levy Levy I honestly don't know how to pronounce his last name I think it's Levy Dan Levy he's in Schitt's Creek he is amazing I will watch anything that he is in he's in the happiest season so that already gives it bonus points in my book so there's a little extra movie recommendation for you today. Now I need to get back to work, keep working on this report, and get ready for my meeting soon. I just finished working. Scott should be home any minute now. It's almost 4.30. We have about half an hour before the Steelers game. I might try to squeeze in a quick workout. Originally, I didn't think I would have time to work out today because I was supposed to have a meeting from 4.30 to 5.30, but that ended up getting pushed back a couple of days. So now I have a little bit of time. And recently, when I wake up, my face has been feeling kind of puffy. And usually after an hour or so, after I get up and start moving around, it'll go down. But today in particular, I feel like around my eyes just still feels puffy and my eyes just feel tired so i'm hoping that if i can get a workout in and get the blood moving that will help and maybe wake me up a little bit but also i don't know if i'm really feeling like doing a whole lot so still up in the air we'll see what happens murphy is sitting by the door waiting to go out so i have to take care of that right now Okay, I just did a little bit of yoga. Scott's home now. We're about to watch the game. He stopped and got us some beer to drink while we watch because it's essential. And now, of course, we're having the debate of what we should get for dinner because all we really have is like lobster ravioli and according to Scott, non-football food. So <laughs> we're trying to figure out something else that we can eat while we watch the game. But who knows what that's gonna end up being. <laughs> that dinner was so good. We got food from a local tavern. Is that even? Yeah, John Brewer's Tavern. Okay, yeah, a local tavern and it was very good. It's halftime in the game now, but I'm going to go shower really quickly. So I think I'm just going to end this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.